Welcome back to another YouTube video. And as you can tell by the title, I have been sent a really awesome looking fake Lego set. Um, it's the Jedi Council by a good friend on Instagram. His name is Custom Bricks Goods. Go check him out. And <coughs> this weighs quite a bit to be fair. Like, obviously it's fake. And it comes in a nice bag to be fair, but no box. But this is what you get with, you know, fake Lego custom marks. And there is quite a few pieces. We've got one, two, three, four, five, five bags. Um, a little QR code for the PDF instructions. And then a really, 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 really tiny instructions manual. Um, and I definitely won't be using this. I'll be screenshotting it on my Mac and I'll be using that on my Mac because bigger screen, whereas these instructions are absolutely tiny. Um, but this is what it's gonna look like. And luckily it comes with, so we've got a fair amount of Jedi's to fill the mark. Um, I am gonna get a couple more of my Jedi's to fill it up. We've got one, two, three, four, five, six seats. Um, and I'm gonna try and recreate the scene where Obi-Wan uh, and Anakin are in the Jedi Council and Anakin gets told that he's not good enough to be a master and then turns evil and then cuts everyone's head off. So that's the one that I'm going to recreate. So I'm going to get all them Jedi's to go into it. So yeah, let's take a closer look at the instructions um, and I'm just going to start building it. Maybe off camera, I'll do like a bits of, um, you know, behind the scenes of like the, how the progress is going, etc. Because this is going to take me a fair while. There is plenty of pieces it doesn't actually say how many pieces but there's a hell of a lot of pieces in this um yeah it doesn't tell me but yeah this is gonna take me ages because they're not numbered bags or anything they're just in bags like you know kind of color coordinated um so yeah i'll do some behind the scenes stuff and then i'll do the finished mock at the end of like what i think of it as well a full like 360 of how cool the mock looks and i'm going to display it somewhere cool on the lego shelves take a quick look at the instructions manual like i'm i'm okay at like building but this is just a bit too like you know this is going to give me a headache trying to follow these instructions because there's just there's not too many instructions but it's just a lot on one singular page in my mind when I'm looking at when I'm looking up there building, I'll look down here and it it all it's it's a lot. That's a hell of a lot of uh, instructions to fit on two A four pieces of paper. So yeah, I'm gonna be popping this QR code up on my Mac. So yeah, it comes with some fantastic looking minifigures. Um, the Obi Wan obviously isn't correct for the scene, and we've got a very weird high looking Kai Adi Monday. Um, I can never remember this guy's name, but I don't think he was in the Jedi Council either. I, I may be mistaken, but I don't remember seeing him there. I remember seeing him, I think he's only on Clone Wars or something, but yeah, I'm going to be swapping these two out for the real versions, and then the rest will stay in, and I'll probably add some extras. I'm, I'm basically going to do some, like, you know, research of who was actually sat in the Jedi, Jedi Council, and then I'll be displaying it with the figures that are actually in there. Don't get me wrong, I'm so grateful that i get sent you know fake lego to photograph build keep review but my god this is nuts no numbered bags just instructions and about two thousand one thousand two thousand pieces something like that it's absolutely outrageous i've been sat here for like 15 minutes and i've got to build 12 of these things where are they 12 of them to make this and i'm on this stage here like i don't mind fake stuff but when it comes to like actually i did a video ages ago about when you buy real lego and you build it and all the, the whole process is so smooth sailing and so good Fake stuff is good because Lego normally haven't done that set yet or you can get a set a lot cheaper than you would a Lego set. But this, 
this is the bit that is not worth it. Like, it's absolutely mind numbingly painful to build a set with no paper, uh, no numbered bags and instructions like this. But we go, we carry on, let's do this. So I'm two hours into the build. It's so tedious. Like I've just had to build 12 of these, right? And it doesn't look like a lot of pieces, but when you're building 12 of them simultaneously, and then that's how many pieces I've got left after it all being here and here, like there was a lot of steps for 12 of them each. And I've just finished, well, once I put this on, I would have finished the base and it's 12 a.m. So I'm going to go to bed. Oh, what a relief. What a relief. This could do some damage. If you throw this like a boomerang at someone's head, this could do some serious damage. It's so heavy. Like it's got some real good weight to it. Yeah. It's a pretty cool. Nice little bit of detail. I will say that. Looks like the uh, Iron Man, like, whatever you call it. Hold on a sec. See what I mean? You know what I mean? Looks like the reactor to his... I ain't even going to try and... It, like, I used to watch Marvel, but I don't anymore. And I'm not even going to try and... I'm tired, guys. I've, this is killing me. This is killing me. I don't know what it's called. The little heart thing. You know what it's called. Um, yeah, I'm going to bed. So I'm just about to start building again. This is day two of probably one of the most frustrating fake Lego sets I've ever been given or built. Um, and I've got my toasties to get me through this build. I'm literally on this bit here and I've still got this to go and all that. And they're just, the pieces just never seem to be going down. And this, weighs quite a bit uh, it, it look it is good detail and it is like a nice solid build as well um it's just it's just really difficult to get through when there's no like numbered bags and the pieces all look the same and the instructions are like this small i was going to get it up on my the instructions on my map but then i decided to watch youtube whilst doing it to get me through it but today i'm actually gonna no I'm gonna conquer through. I'm gonna carry on doing the instructions like this, like you would anyway. Um, probably just listen to some music, eat some toasties and get it done. It's been a difficult road. It's been a long one. It's been very frustrating. But this set is absolutely stunning. So I've just placed it on the shelf. And as you can see, this set is actually massive. It's so good. The detail in it is absolutely amazing. Obviously, I've put some of my own minifigures in there. But yeah, it's absolutely quality. You've got really nice interior, really nice like, structural work. You can look through the door. Oh, look at that for a shot, that's so sick. Yeah, it's pretty awesome to be fair. Shout out to Custom Bricks Goods for sending it me for free to, I guess, review it and keep it and enjoy looking at it definitely wasn't to enjoy building because it was an absolute nightmare to build but it's so worth it i think i'm gonna make um so i'm kind of like putting my star wars stuff into like sections so i'm thinking about having like a little jedi section somewhere you put like ne maybe next to the clothes or underneath but then you've got the star destroyer there i don't know i'm gonna work something out but this this needs to be put somewhere really good. And then I'm gonna have all the Jedi's lined up around it as well. So that is awesome. So I hope you've really enjoyed this video. Um, as always, thank you so much for watching, liking, chuck down in the comments what you think of this set. I always answer the comments back as well. I like having conversations with you guys. Um, please, please, please remember to subscribe. Remember to subscribe guys, please. It's, um, we're getting there. We're like just over a quarter of the way to 1000 subs. And as soon as I reach 1000 subs, that's like, that's like the mission by the end of the year. And I think you guys can get me there. Like, you know, you guys are 
been absolutely amazing. Again, as always, after every single YouTube video I put out, I always say, guys, you're absolutely smashing it. So thank you so much. And yeah, enjoy this one and enjoy the many videos to come soon. <laughs>